Hi, this is Shea Bletchenden and this is your August Bridges Tip of the Month. Today the topic is going to be wrist action and what we're going to discuss is how to use the wrist properly to maximize your ability to hit the ball good distances with your clubs. Uh, the number one biggest issue we run into just starting off is people that have excessive grip pressure. When the wrists are tight, what that does is it tightens up the muscles connecting the wrists and the forearm creates a lot of tension and the wrist will not hinge freely at that point. If, uh, as you're sitting at home at your computer watching this, go ahead and just squeeze your hand and watch all the muscles start to tense and flex as they go from the wrist into the forearm. Well, that's the type of thing that we uh, want to try to avoid a little bit during the golf swing. So keeping the grip pressure on a scale of 1 to 10, maybe around 3 or 4 is a good balance point. Of course, we don't want the club to fall out of your hands while you're swinging, but we want to be able to create a nice loose hinge in your wrists. Uh, number two, a lot of players, despite having good grip pressure, as they go back, for whatever reason, they just don't seem to let the freedom of motion happen with the wrists. Uh, you'll see many players get up and the elbows bend and the wrists stay relatively straight. So what we would like to do, and here's a good drill, it's called the L drill. We want to swing you back to what we call the L position, which is where your left arm swings back until it's about level with the ground. At this point, the wrist should have hinged roughly 90 degrees. You can see the butt of the club at this point is facing the ground. So it's a really good practice drill to do at home or on the range before you swing. Swing back, get your arm to level, and make sure the wrists have hinged to about 90 degrees. Conversely, on the other side, we don't want real stiff, stiff action through the ball. That slows your club down. So if we have an L position on the back swing part of it, we want to allow the club to release through re-hinge and come up with an L position again into the follow-through position. So going back, halfway back L to L and start to feel the wrists very freely hinging. There's a big difference in golf between making your wrists bend versus allowing them to bend. For instance, uh, if I had you to hold the clip straight out in front of you, I could ask you to bend the wrists straight up and down. However, if they're relaxed, and you take a backswing, they will bend all by themselves. I'm not trying to bend them, I'm allowing them to bend. I'm allowing them to bend here, allow them to release through the ball. That is where so much power is. If you watch a, uh, a good player, a professional, long drive champion, they can hit a ball 250 yards off of their knees without having much body motion, without being big and tall. The wrist can, can make or break your golf swing. So uh, that's your tip of the month. We'd love for you to come to the range, Work on your wrist action. If you need any help, come see us in the golf shop. We can uh, take a look and let you know if you're doing it right or not. We can also videotape you and see if you're truly getting a nice 90 degree wrist cock or not. So uh, thanks for tuning in today. I hope you've enjoyed this tip and uh, we'll look forward to uh, seeing you for next month's tip of the month.